This video is going to continue our conversation of correlation and extend it to calculate a line of best fit and use it to make predictions in what's called linear regression. Linear regression is finding the line of best fit for a scatter plot. We will represent it with y hat equals a plus b x. a represents the y-intercept, and b here represents the slope. Interestingly, if the slope is positive, r is also positive. If the slope is negative, r is also negative. In this way, we can use the slope of b to determine if we have a positive or negative correlation. The way we calculate a and b is with these equations. They look just as complex as our equation for r, but we'll break them down here in a minute to figure out exactly how to calculate them. You'll notice the equation for a uses x bar and y bar. You recognize x bar as the mean of the x's. Y bar also represents the mean of the y's, where we add up all the y values and divide by the sample size. The size of the caribou population, in hundreds, and the size of the wolf population in this national park was recorded at several different points in time. In the chart at the right, you can see the data. We're going to find the line of best fit and use it to predict the size of the wolf population when the caribou population is 2,400. Here I've copied our data onto this chart. You can see the equations at the bottom to help us out. As before, we're going to need an x squared and an xy column. With these formulas, we do not need the y squared column. Let's build the x squared column by hitting equals, select the x, and squaring with shift 6 and then 2. For xy, we'll say equals, click the x, times, and click the y. Selecting those two cells, we'll drag it down, clicking the box in the bottom right corner. And then in row 10 here, I'm going to put a row of the sums. Equals the sum of the x's by selecting this value. And then I'll grab that box in the bottom right corner and stretch it across. To find our b, the slope, we'll say equals, open a parenthesis for the numerator, in the sample size, we've got seven data values times the sum of the xy's, we'll click that one, minus the sum of the x's, times, click the sum of the y's, and close the parentheses on the numerator. Divided by, open a parentheses, next the b formula says we take the sample size again of seven, times the x squareds, Click that cell, minus the sum of the x's squared, shift 6, and then the number 2. Close the parentheses on the denominator, and I find b, my slope, is 1.599. To find my a, first we need to find x bar and y bar. x bar is the average of the x's. So we'll take the sum of the x's and divide by the sample size of 7. And for y bar, we'll say equals the sum of the y's divided by 7, and we get the average of the y's. Now to get our a value, it's going to be equal to y bar minus the b we found, click that cell, times the x bar, click that cell, and that'll give us our a of 23, or 22.36. That tells us our equation for y hat is equal to the a value, 22.36, plus the b value, 1.60, when we round to two decimal places, times x. Now that we have our equation of 22.36 plus 1.6x, we're ready to make that prediction. Remember, the question was asking about 24. When x is 24, what is our y hat? We can hit equals 22.36 plus 1.60 times, and our x value is 24. We would predict the wolf population to be about 60 or 61. 
We could calculate R as well, the correlation coefficient. To tell us how good of a line this is by selecting the x's, comma, and selecting the y's. And we see R, our correlation coefficient, is 0 0.9150. That R value tells us how good the line is at being close to the actual points. But how good is that line then to estimate values, such as the 24 for x that we used to estimate the 60.76? This brings us to what's called the coefficient of determination. The coefficient of determination is the statistic r squared, which tells us how good the line is as an instrument of regression. r squared measures the proportion of variation in the, in, in the dependent variable y that's explained by the regression line using x as an explanatory or independent variable. So in this example we're discussing for the caribou, we found that r was 0.915. If we square r, r squared is 0.837. This tells us the proportion or percentage of the variation in y that is explained by the x. Or in context, 83.7% of the variation in the wolf population is explained by the caribou population. Or similarly, if we subtract from 1, we find out 16.3% of the variation in the wolf population is unexplained. This might be due to random chance or another variable. Hopefully this video was helpful for you as you calculate that line of best fit and use it to make predictions as we find that linear regression and coefficient of determination.